Now friends, uh, let's do this question. The number of three digit numbers having at least one digit is five, right? That means one digit can be five, two digit can be five and uh, all the three digits can be five. So I take a reverse approach. What I do, I take all the three digit numbers and uh, from that I, I would deduct the numbers in which there is no five at all. So in the remaining numbers, there would be at least one five because the calculation of one fives, two fives and uh, all the three fives will be a bit difficult or a bit lengthier, right? So what I do, I take a reverse approach. So uh, how do I do that? So total number of three digit numbers will be there are three places for the first place we have nine choices for the second place we have 10 and for the third place we have 10 so in all we have already discussed this sort of questions so in all there are three um, digit number uh, like uh, 903 digit numbers are there right now i take there is no five at all so how many numbers are there no fives right so for the first place i have in all 10 choices but 0 and 5 cannot come so I have 8 choices for the second place I have 10 choices but 5 cannot come so I have 9 choices for the third place I have 10 choices but 5 cannot come so I have 9 choices so it's 9 into 9 into 8 that is 81 into 8 so it's 648 right so in all 900 numbers are there in which 648 numbers have no fives at all no fives at all that means in the remaining numbers there will be at least one five right so there may be one five or two five all the three fives are there but at least one five will be there because we eliminated all the numbers in which there was no five right so 900 minus 648 that is 252 okay so 252 numbers are there in which at least one five will be there i hope you are clear in this question number of ways in which six person can be seated around a table so that two persons two particular persons are never seated together is equal to i assume these two persons to be suppose a b right apart from a b there are four more persons c d e f right now further i would take and uh, a reverse approach over here what i would do i would find the total number of arrangements and from that i will deduct the arrangement when a and b uh, are together right so if six person are persons are sitting around a table that means it is a circular arrangement and in the circular arrangement the total number of ways arranging n people is n minus one factorial right so in all uh, the total number of arrangements will be is 5 factorial that is n minus 1 factorial right now next step uh, i just take these two people together so i have one two three four five persons and five persons to sit at five places so the total number of arrangements further they are sitting around a circle so the total number of arrangement will be four factorial into this two person can be interchanged also that is a b and b also so to arrange these two people I, I have to multiply it by 2 right so 4 factorial into 2 are the ways when both of them are always together right always together right so this this is 4 factorial into 2 or I can say 48 this is what 120 so these are the total number of arrangements and these are the arrangements when they are uh, always together so in the remaining cases they will never be together right so this is what 72 ways are there when they are never together okay i hope you are clear now the number of different ways in which a man can invite one or more of his six friends to a dinner right that means he can invite one person or two person or three persons or four or five or all the six persons right so suppose the six persons are a b c d e and f right now how do we approach this problem right see he has various ways right first of all uh, we take the case when he is inviting just one person because at least he has to invite one person right so 
out of 6 he has to select 1 so it's 6 c 1 right that means he is inviting just one person or he is inviting two person that means out of six he has to invite two persons so he has to take the combinations of two two persons so in all six c2 combinations will be there from this six people of two people right or he is inviting three people or he is inviting four people or he is inviting five people or he is inviting all the people right so these are the total number of cases that we have to calculate so 6 c1 will be 6 6 c2 is 6 fives are 30 30 by 2 is 15 then 6 c3 is 6 into 5 into 4 by 3 factorial so it's 20 then 6 c4 and 6 c2 both of them are same so if it is 15 it will also be 15 then 6 c5 and 6 c1 same and 66 is 1 right so in all this is the total calculation so 15 and 15 30 30 and 20 50 50 and 6 56 62 and 1 63 so total there are 63 ways in which he can invite one or more of his friends one friend or two friends or three friends or four friends or five friends or six friends so these are the combinations right he can select uh, like uh, two friends out of six friends in six c2 ways right so i hope you are clear now you must be getting the clear difference between permutation and combination since he is inviting the friends so here the order doesn't matter that means in which order the friends are coming whether a is coming first and then b is coming or whether b is coming first then a is coming right both of them are coming so order doesn't matter so here in this case we are just using selection right we are just making the combinations right 